everybody, I'm Bonnie Hunter and this is part two of working with Trirex rulers. We are in part one, we cut out the shapes that we needed for our Trirex units and here I have them set next to my 227M Singer machine that I removed the motor from and popped into the treadle cabinet. I love treadling and treadling is a, a nice way to be able to um, show you how easy these units are without a lot of motor noise. The first thing I want to show you is how I've got these set up. Remember we cut these pieces with right sides together so that we automatically when we open them up have right hand star points and left hand star points. We also cut two colors of background. We've got orange backgrounds and we've got neutral backgrounds and you'll need some of each um, according to the pattern. So follow the pattern and it will tell you how many that you need. Remember those angles that we cut off on the bottom of the star point triangle? That's going to go on the bottom edge of the base triangle like this and you're going to align those long diagonal edges just like this. And you'll notice that yes, the blue triangle does hang over the top. Don't worry about that. We'll take care of that, care of that in the next seam. I've just got those aligned there. One thing I did with my machine was to make sure that I have the proper quarter inch seam measured. I used one of my seam guide rulers and I put the needle in the quarter inch hole and that told me where I needed to place this guide. We want a unit that finishes at three and a half by three and a half. So proper seam is important. I'm going to lower the presser foot and we're going to sew from the top of the unit down to the bottom corner just like this and I want to be sure that that placement guide stays right where it needs to be and we're going to sew. This machine is just so smooth it's a joy to sew on. I'm going to do the same thing with the orange one since I can use each piece as the leader and ender for the other. We're going to line that, <laughs> that placement guide right there along the base Sometimes if my hands have too much lotion, they don't want to uh, align just right. And here we are. We're going to sew our quarter inch seam. Okay, so this allows me to snip one off of the back so that I can show you what this looks like. Some fabric just unravels worse than others, doesn't it? Goodness. Okay. Yeah, that's a ravelly one. Okay, so here we are. Our seam comes out right here. There's our, our base part right here. And I'm going to give this just a gentle finger press. We really don't need to manhandle our patchwork because it can change shape. And you will see that there is just a little bit of white triangle peeking out here at the corner. And what I want to do with my scissors is just trim that even with the corner of the square. I want a nice square corner. Now there's still going to be a little bit of white showing, but that's going to be within our quarter inch seam allowance, so that's not a problem. This dog ear, I'm going to leave right there. That helps me place the next triangle. Our left triangle, we're going to put right sides together with the unit. And again, we're going to align that little trimmed off triangle there, the little blunt corner, against the bottom of the base triangle. And this time we're going to sew from the bottom, cor bottom corner to the top. Get that just right. You can pin it if you need to. I'm trying not to take too much time here. Okay, here we go. And you're going to sew. And your stitching should come right out in the V where those two pieces overlap. And that'll give you a unit that's, that's flat across the top. Let's try it with this one. Give it a nice gentle press. And then we're just trimming that seam allowance with even with the corner of the square. Just barely a little. We just want to have a nice square corner. And we're going to add the second star points. I do all my right hand ones first and then check them and then come back and add the left. This way I'm able to keep my smallest triangle on top of my work. Otherwise I'd be having the small triangle I'm adding on, on the underneath side of something that is bigger than it is. Okay, I'm going to line that right there. Those two dog ears line up just right. And we sew snip this one off here. There we go. Gentle press is all you need. We're going to trim that even with the side of the square. And you'll see that I have one small 
dog ear right here. We just trim that even. Now the nice thing is, is I've got a good quarter inch depth here so that when I join this unit into the block, I'm not going to chop off the tip of my base triangle. And usually I'll have a leader and ender to put after this one, but let's remove him also. Just gentle, gentle pressing. Don't distort the entire unit. Just snip that so that it's square. That looks pretty good. We're going to trim that dog ear off right there. And four of these units will make one star block or whatever you're making for your mystery. And uh, you can use these in borders. You can use these as corners of the quilt. You can use these in many ways. So it will be interesting to see just where these end up in our Celtic Solstice Mystery. Thank you for quilting along with me today. I hope you enjoy your Tri-Rex tools. I'm Bonnie Hunter for Quiltville.com.